and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to start colouring in a picture by Cheryl Lafond uh, and it is a beautiful picture uh, with a ring and some flowers and I haven't chosen a colour scheme for this um, I'm just going to go with it and see how it turns out you can colour along with me if you like or you can just watch to see how things turn out um, so yeah I'll just get stuck right in and we'll see how it goes so I have my pencils on my left here as you can see and I have my letter mouche markers to my right I'm going to use a bit of a mix put a base down for some parts and um, just go straight in with pencil on other parts so again I haven't got a colour scheme so this may turn out terribly wrong but that's all right can always start again okay so I think because it's my favorite color I am going to put some purple flowers in here and I quite like the look of these little ones being purple so I'm just looking at my markers here for something I can use as a base. Um, I don't know if I want lavender or lilac. Um, I do have more of shadow which is what I normally use for my purple bases um, but I also have pale lavender and pale lilac which both look quite nice and there's also pastel violet so if I just grab my book with my colour swatches in Let's have a look at this. So this, for those of you who haven't seen, is my colour swatch book. It is in a normal standard notebook with a cute little pug on the front. And I have used washi tape to decipher where each medium is that I've swatched. And the first ones are my little mouche. I've used a page for just one side because obviously these bleed through okay so let's have a look number 84 pastel violet let's have a look and see what that one looks like so that's that one there that it's quite pink so um, I might leave that one out and do some pink flowers Um, the next one is 145 and that is pale lavender So that's that one. So that is really light. I also have the mauve shadow, which again is really light. There's not a lot of difference between those two. And then we also have the pale lilac. Um, and I quite like the look of the pale lilac for these ones. So I'm going to use the pale lilac. But what I'll do is, because I might keep the scheme pinks and purples throughout the whole image, is I'll keep those two out just in case I want to use them a bit later. Okay, so yes, we are using Pale Lilac in 147 and these are Le Moucher Twin Markers. So I'm going to use this for the flowers that look like buds 
at the moment. Um, the, the camera's shaking at the moment because my dog, Frank, is under the desk at the moment and he is shaking one of his toys against it. Which is just typical when I start recording because for the past hour, hour and a half he has been laying his bed asleep. I do have just some scrap, a pile of scrap paper underneath here uh, so that I don't get marker print on my light board. I'm at a different desk today than what I normally am because I've been working on a 5D painting throughout the month of March which is one of the reasons why I haven't posted up any videos of me actually colouring yet this month. Um, and other than that, I've not been feeling very well and last Friday I managed to scratch my eye and was unable to open it for a few days. So I was totally out of commission. And you don't realise how much you do in your daily life with your eyes, or at least with both your eyes, until something happens to one of them. It was actually quite hard just to keep one eye open whilst trying to keep the other one closed. But it's all healed up now. I had some eye drops and um, after a few days of putting the eye drops in everything seemed to get a bit better and I just seemed to have had this fluey cold type thing everyone seems to be getting with sore throat and um, with the coughs to begin with so after I did my book collection videos uh, I was asked for a few flip throughs of books which I've done and I did those with music over the top of them so that um, whilst my throat wasn't very good you could still see the book that um, you had asked for which reminds me that if there are any of my other books you would like to see a flip through of don't hesitate to ask me either in the comments of any of my videos or on Facebook or on my Instagram or even in the comments on this on this video And I'll be more than happy to do one for you. There we go. So I'm just going to do that one colour on that one. And then because it was more pinky, I'm going to bring back um, Pastel Violet in 84. And I'm going to do a base using this colour. And I'm going to do that on these ones here. See, as you can see, it's quite a bright pink. It will get lighter when it dries. So it won't be as vibrant because at the minute it does look quite neon. But it will just turn into a 
vibrant, bright looking pink. And um, when I use the pencils to add some shading in it will look way better. Now is that a bud? I think it is. Um, don't think there's any more of those type. I might could do these ones here. So today, through the post, I got the Le Emouche watercolour brush pens, um, which I have in front of me here. Excuse my arms. Oh, and I've also turned my light bulb on. Turn that off. Yeah, so here are the Le Emouche watercolour brush pens and you get they are dual tipped as well but instead of the like on these you get a fine tip and the broad tip which is like a chisel tip you get the brush tip and a fine liner tip so i'll just get one of these out to show you there you have the brush tip and then the fine liner tip and there are 120 colours all different there are no duplicates I haven't tried them out yet um, and with this set I did get um, a free water pen which looks like so and may actually come in a minute if I can get it together that is oh wait a minute it's Chinese so it screws the right different way so yes this is what the water pen looks like that I got with it it's quite a broad tip as well so it's pretty similar to the brush pen tip um, so yes this will get added to my other water pens that I have and another thing I got through the door today were the two skin tone black widow sets which also I have not opened and tried yet. They are still in the plastic coating. And whilst I am on, I'll just grab it. I also got the new Colouring Heaven magazine through the door today. Which is the Steampunk Special. And all of the artwork inside is by Hannah Lynn. And it is very nice indeed. We have exclusives. And we also have images that I'm guessing are from her Steampunk Darlings book. But there are quite a few exclusives in the book. And the images are very nice indeed. So I got that, yes. Right, so getting back to this, um, that seems to be the only other flower buds, the bigger ones which I've done in the pale lilac. Um, no, sorry, I did in the pale. No. Were they the? They were the pastel violet. And that was the pale lilac. And next I am going to use the mauve shadow. And that is in 146. 
I'm going to use this one on some of the bigger flowers. These colours, this one and the pale lavender are more muted um, shades of purple and would work really well with doing more pastely toned flowers. So what is everybody else working on at the moment? Because apart from this picture which I'm doing on the channel, I am working on an image from Clara Markova's Fairy Miracles book which was originally one of my whips which I did show in my first video I pulled that back out and decided to work on that because we are coming up to the beginning of spring it may even have already passed and I'm also doing a 5D painting for Ella. A few months ago she asked me if I would do her one. And I asked her what she wanted and she said to me that she would like a unicorn girl. So I said, alright, okay, I'll um, see what I can find. I'll find some pictures and... You can tell me if you like them and she goes okay but it has to be an actual unicorn girl not just a girl with a hairband on so I said all right if that's what you want then that's what I'll look for and I searched to begin with couldn't find anything they all had headbands on and then I came across one image and then another image showed up and then more and more images started to show up and I was thinking to myself I need to choose a few because if I show her all of these she's going to want them all or either that or we will be on for another few months waiting for her to decide which one she wanted so I chose a few which ones I thought were pretty and that she'd like and I showed her them and there was a few she really wanted and I says well you can only have one at the moment because you don't have the space on your bedroom walls to fit them all and she chose one and I'll show you the image of the one she's chosen I'll not show you the actual 5D because um, it'll not fit in the frame but this is just um, a notebook, notebook and it's got all of my 5Ds in that I've got to do. And this is the image that she has chosen. So I'm doing this for her bedroom wall. And she's really excited because not only was it a unicorn girl, but she is also partly rainbowy. So she is really happy that I got that for her and that I've already started it and she kind of keeps wanting it to be done quick and she kept asking me because it's got a whole white background and I started the white background and um I began by laying a diamond, missing a diamond, and so forth and so forth, just so that um, the white 
wouldn't move out of place and it's just a lot easier when you come to fill it in properly that the diamonds stay where they're meant to and they don't go out of line but she thought that once I had gone over the whole section of white doing one square miss a square one square miss a square she thought that was the white done and I was like no I have to fill in all the squares so from her thinking that I would have it done in at least a week or at most a week in her case and it's going to take a bit longer than that but in the, the as much spare time that I have I am doing that for her so with a bit of luck it shouldn't take too long hmm leaf couldn't decide what that was there. And then after I've done that five day painting, I have one to do for my mum, which is an image of my brother with his Mario hat on to go up on her wall I think that's all of that kind right I'm going to get light pink now and do some of them in light pink Light pink is number 139. Oh no, sorry, 138. But apart from um, having the odd illness and starting the five day painting, I've just been doing housework and I have been watching a few different TV programs lately. I watched Inhumans. Which I found was quite good. Um, I watched the first season of that and then I went to find out on Google whether or not there was going to be a second season and it looks like there may not be but it hasn't actually been 100% confirmed yet so it could just be one of those ones where if we get a second season then we're not going to know until it's actually out and then I watched, um, what was it again? Oh, that's it, Titans on Netflix, which is a Netflix original. And that um, contains Robin from Batman and Robin. And I watched that the first season of that which was really good as well but the first season is the only season of that out at the moment and I then look at Google to tell us whether or not season 2 is coming out because I don't want to find out if it's not 
I'd rather just not know and then forget all about it. There's a little bug there. I need to come back in. Um, lids on these pens are so tight there we go and then I have I think two flowers here which I'm going to use pale pink light if I can find it yeah pale pink light in 196 Again, this colour and the pale pink are good for if you are doing pastel colours. There we go. Oh, and there's just a flower sticking out the back here, which I'm going to go back to morph shadow and use morph shadow to colour that one in mm. oh that's the same flower as that I thought they were leaves We have some of those ones down here too. Oh, and I've got these little flowers here, which I'm going to go back in with the pastel violet. And just fill those in. So yes, after watching titans i then had a little bit of a browse through netflix and i came across gotham which i knew was on netflix but i never actually got around to watching it so i've started watching that and so far i'm enjoying that too so that's all right Right, so now, um, for these gems, I think I'm going to in keep with the pinks and purples and I'm going to use the mauve shadow as my base for the gems. I'm just going to go around and do all of them in the mauve shadow Frank has now fallen asleep so shaking his little toy has worn him out which for me is good
did anybody see the news today? Today is the 15th of March, by the way. Um, this morning when I got up, it was on the news about New Zealand and the shooter in the mosques. Terrible news. And what he actually did is horrifying. It makes you wonder how anybody could actually do that. Disgusting. And apparently it was all down to pure hatred. Nothing else. Just because he simply could. And because New Zealand doesn't normally attract that sort of thing. And there was children and women and men. There was a, a man in a wheelchair was on the news who managed to survive. I mean, what goes through people's minds when they think, oh, today I'm going to go and shoot people in a mosque. God certainly wouldn't be the first thing that went through my mind. Excuse me. Right, the ring itself, I'm going to do silver. So for that, I'm going to put a base of CG 0 0.5 cool gray. And I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. But I think something like that shooting, far too much of that's happening lately. But it's not shootings, it's bombings. Or just plain terror attacks. <laughs> I mean, surely I'm not the only one who thinks that. Why can't the world just be in peace? I mean, what have we all deserved? Or what have we all done to deserve these sorts of attacks? And what, what has been, what has happened for people to react in the way they do in causing these attacks? It's insane. Absolutely terrible. But it's just one of those things that it doesn't matter what era, day, month, year, it's always going to be somewhere in your life, somewhere down the line, something like this is going to be happening somewhere in the world. And yes, it might not be on your own doorstep, but it doesn't make it any less hard in thinking about these poor people that have to suffer these attacks. It's quite sad, really. So yes, that was quite a 
big part of today's news. The amount of people who were interviewed that survived the attack. I mean, just hearing their reactions, their thoughts and the way they felt. It's not, it does, doesn't bear thinking of. It doesn't bear thinking of what they must have gone through. Wondering whether or not you're gonna survive and get away from this and just awful. You just count your lucky stars, it's not you, don't you? Especially for me when something happens so close to home. I mean, there was the bombing at Ariana Grande's concert in Manchester. I think it was in Manchester. I mean, that's basically just down the road from where I live. I mean, Ella absolutely loves Ariana Grande. And if we had gotten tickets to go and see her, it would have been me and her there. And Ian, because Ian likes to come to these things with us. So, yes. You just have to be thankful that you weren't there and just pray for those that were and pray that it doesn't happen again. Right, so I've just got the leaves left to put a base colour down and I'm just going to grab my colour swatch book again because I want, I don't want a bright green. Um, I might very well just leave those as they are because the colours I'm thinking doing those I don't think I mean I have got jade green there which um, would be a good colour yes I'm going to go with the jade green which is this color here as you can see it's very very pale which is what i'm looking for for the edges of the leaves so i'm going to go with that so that is 171 jade green and i'm going to do all of the leaves in this color it doesn't matter what flower they're attached to Gonna do the whole lot. Does anyone have any plans for the weekend coming up? don't have anything specifically planned myself. I might just um, get some more colouring in and play my game or games because I normally play World of Warcraft, play that all the time. But I have a new game lately that I've been playing called My Time in Portia which is really good. You make your own person and you basically follow in your father's footsteps in running a building service. And you have different tasks you do and you upgrade your house to make it bigger and bigger and it's quite
quite good. Although I should say it's really good personally because I spend that much time on it. You get yourself engrossed in it and then you forget what time it is and before you know it it's tea time and you've been playing since breakfast. But it's just a nice little game. You definitely have to think what you're doing or everything could all go wrong. And they are both on my PC. I do have consoles but I've not really been playing my games on those as of late. But that's alright, I'll come back to them. Just one of those things you don't always play all the time. I would, however, like to get a Nintendo Switch because um, the new Pokemon games come out towards the end of the year. I'm going to say November. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm saying November because it's normally when they do come out is in a November of the year that they're released. Yes, the new games have come out and they are called Pokemon Shield and Pokemon Sh Sword. And they start a Pokemon look super cute. But they always do. But I would be proper excited if I got a Nintendo Switch. So that I could get those games. And also Mario Kart. Because I like to play that with Ian and Ella. that's them all done. Let me just double check. Yes, that is. Right, okay everyone. I am, oh, sorry, I have not been in shot all of that bottom part. Um, I'm going to leave that there and come back on the next video and start doing the pencil shading on top. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye!